Dear Diary, I was woken from another night of neither comfort or rest, my eyes closed but my mind never at ease. I unwantingly sprawl out of bed, my holder of peace. I go through the routine, throw my uniform on, brush my teeth, grab my supplies, and walk out the door. I am now on my way to school. After a rather uncomfortable nap in the car, I arrive, ready to face another horrible day filled with terrible people that make me want to peel my skin off. Slowly but surely, whatever gets the job done, whatever gets me out of this place, away from all these struggles, these childish, completely worthless, part of growing up struggles, yet I put up with it. I put up with all of it, the kids who are obnoxious and an impediment to the class, the teachers who are cramming as much as they can before the year ends, but nonetheless, I find myself in my math desk, half paying attention, half wanting to have a complete breakdown, make today a show for the kids, one worth watching. But no, I sit patiently at my desk, not exactly absorbing the lesson, but not making myself look like I'm completely asleep. Every now and again, I press my pencil into my arm, a little bit further each time, a little reminder that I'm alive. The day passes, and after a nap through both history and chemistry, I wind up in video, next to one of the most annoying people I know, and my partner for our documentary. Meeting deadlines aren't so difficult, but when you want to slowly push everything back just to annoy someone, that cheap thrill, that little stab, that little accomplishment in life, then yeah, you end up four days late on getting your clips in and pulling your friends out of class to ask them what music they like. Except, I'm not the one asking, he is. And I swear, if he starts going on one more t just ask him the questions. What is that kid doing with their camera, and why is he asking people what color their boxers are? Why am I about to hit you with the tripod? Okay, the day is over, and I've survived. I've made it through the day, and I'm ready to go to tutoring. Oh yeah, I have tutoring. An hour and a half of doing math problems, because I'm too dumb to learn and too unwilling to care. But this time, this time of doing problem after problem actually feels nice. A little grab closer to the top, slowly pulling myself out of this hellhole, this terrible cavity of life I'm constantly struggling with. And though I go closer to the top, there is no top, only a false climb, some willing to believe longer than others. Dear diary, please let me believe for another day.